Welcome to Gardening 101 and today we're going to be talking about how to grow weeping cherry tree. So, as you can see this guy's getting pretty big, he's getting tall and he's weeping and it's the summer now so the bloom is done. They make beautiful white white flowers and the white pink flowers in the summer, in the spring. And uh, what we're going to do here is get in there for the summer and just kind of take care of this area here so that he has a nice healthy summer. Um, you just take your hand rake and you just want to dig it up, dig up some of those weeds and pull out some of the weeds first. Just grab them with your hand, pull them and that's that. Just get right around from the base seems like the gnome planted some weeds. I think he was trying to grow his own little garden. But yeah, you just get in there. You want to pull out any weeds or debris from the base and any of this. See, this is kind of like it gets moist in here because it's so shaded. Now, the, the, the cherry tree doesn't mind that much, but you do want to kind of revitalize this area um, when, it, when you start to see this moss. And you kind of want to give that some air because it's an indication that, that it's get, the, the soil's holding too much water too often. So that moss starts to form. But yeah, you just take your rake, you get in there, spread it around, you find any rocks. I usually save the rocks in a bucket because I use them for planting bulbs. So if you come up with any rocks, I just set them aside, put them in a bucket, or in this case, I'd throw them right here. Because that's, that's where they go. But um, yeah, get on any weeds, get on any debris. Just give the soil a nice little brother fresh air. You want to just kind of really get in there. really work that soil so that it has a nice nice easy summer and it's not really fighting the, the heat and the drought but I mean weeping cherry is one of my favorite favorite spring I mean it is spring between that and forsythia that, that they just own the spring they just they're huge and they just they're absolutely beautiful but there you go I mean that's and that you're done you're done that's it pull out some of those weeds, clean up the area, and just leave it for the summer. And there you go. There you have it. How to grow weeping cherry. Hope you have a great day. Happy gardening.